In the month of October, particularly around the 21st, after grading cycle is done, we're going to start migrating email to Office 365, and that's going to present some efficiencies. Let me show you. We're here in the data center, and uh, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of racks, and those servers run anything from our ERP systems to our file servers and also our email servers. And we're going to focus on email today. Let me take you inside. To my right, we have a whole rack of servers. And if you had to quantify how many servers run the email throughout the district, it, it equates out to about 30 servers. So after we migrate our email to Office 365, we'll be able to shut down all 30 of those servers. You can imagine how much power and cooling that that'll save the district. So Rob mentioned that we are migrating emails. So basically what that means is right now you saw all those servers, that's where our email is stored. We're going to be moving those over into the cloud for Office 365. Now, this migration process, it's going to take a little bit, and that's fine. Our schools, we're going to move it school by school, and our schools will be notified, extra help will be sent out, but users should not see any difference in their email whatsoever. That's right, Carrie. All email, calendar, archive, and contacts will be migrated. And since most of the district utilizes Outlook, they're not going to see anything happen behind the scenes. They'll just be prompted to restart Outlook when the migration is completed. 